Hi, this is Les from Power Up Training, and today's quick solution to the question, how do I control bullet point indent spacing, both within the lines and between the lines? Let's go see how. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we can turn the ruler on. I'm gonna exit out of this, and we're gonna see this a little more online. So what we're saying is that this is our ruler line. It may not be showing on your system. If so, you're gonna to wanna to go up to view, click on view, and then look over here and you're gonna find the ruler can be clicked on and off. Make sure the check mark is there and you're gonna then see these lines here. So with it turned on, what you wanna then do is click on the line of interest. Let's click on this one here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look up on the ruler at these unusual marks, which are the upside and right side up triangles and a box. Let's see what this means a little more closely here. Those three icons are gonna control a variety of things. I'm gonna show you up front what happens. I'm gonna work on this line here, and you'll see up here that we now have these particular boxes. The top triangle, that's the second one, is going to control where the words begin. See how the word line down below here has jumped across because we moved that across. If we wanna control the bullet itself, such as this, I'm gonna go back up. We're gonna find the single triangle. I'm gonna click and drag, and then the bullet icon moves around. So these two triangles will move the first line and the bullet independently. If I wanna move them as a group, I'm gonna click on this square, click and drag, and now both of the items drag along to change the indentations of the line. So let's see about the second question, and that's how to change the spacing between lines. I'm gonna click on this particular piece, this line first to work on, and it's important that we go to the home menu. So we're gonna click on home. What we're gonna look for is this paragraph section and the upside down triangle which is gonna let us fine tune the layout. I'm gonna click on this once. Then we can actually go through here and change the spacing by moving things up and down. Let's move the spacing above the line. And here I'm moving it up to 18 point. And let's change from six to make this larger. And we're gonna now find that when I click on okay, the spacing above this line and below has now been increased. So there you go. That's how you control the spacing within the lines and above and below the bullet points. If you wanna learn more about PowerPoint and all about bullet points, margins, and tabs, do look for our training video on YouTube. Also subscribe to our Power Up YouTube training channel so that I can create more free, free videos for you. Lastly, if you want more free training, do go to our PowerPoint school at power-up.training for a variety of training videos for you. Until the next time, go power up.